Alright mate, how you doing? In this video I'm going to be taking you alongside me on a trip to Madrid for the Fuck Champions European Season 2 Regional. We've got Hashtag Harry and Hashtag Boras competing, both with the chance to qualify for the Grand Final in Berlin, where Tass has already qualified for. That's why he's not playing in this event in Madrid. We've got a football a meet up towards the end of the video to look forward to. All sorts of good stuff, so drop a like if you enjoy it, subscribe for more. Let's go Madrid! Oh my god. Are you a child? He's just a big kid, isn't he? A child. <laughs> hey. <laughs> right, guys, I just finished rehearsal for the big show tomorrow here in Madrid. Made some changes to the, uh, the broadcast setup. One thing that's staying the same is Chew Boy's in the house. All right, mate, it's Chew Boy. Oh, How are you doing, Spencer? That was quite good, actually. <laughs> Sounded quite decent, to be fair. All right, guys, let's shine your shoes, guys. Um, but yeah, I'm looking forward to the show. I think the, 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 the group draw is actually happening very soon, so I'm not sure we're going to actually be able to see it because we've got rehearsals now. Either way, this group draw is definitely going to throw up some groups of death. There's too many good players, particularly on the Xbox side, that, I mean, there's, there's no way they can all go through. It just can't happen. So there's going to be some big drama tomorrow and very, very tough groups. Hopefully some of the hashtag boys can avoid those tough groups, but you never know. This is the arena. It's the biggest one yet, to be fair. There's the boys. All this room around the set. The set looks the same, always looks the same. Uh, you've got this, it's very good they actually recreate this from city to city, country to country. We've been in a lot of different locations now and they always get the look on point. You've got the classic AstroTurf, you know, the, the, the four desks where they play their, their FIFA commentary area here. We've actually got some AstroTurf now, that's a new addition which I like a lot. And that's where the commentators will be up there. Me and Chu will be situated here watching the games there. But yeah, they, they just smash it every time. It looks exactly the same, but we're now in Madrid. <laughs> we're in our green room. There's Brent, the commissioner. We've got our clothing options here. These are my <laughs> options here. Uh, got Chu there, looking at some options. This is all your rack. You've got your own rack. Yeah, you know, um, <laughs> I bring the looks to the broadcast team. No offense, man. So I've heard, I saw a lot of comments in the last vlog about the haircut. Yeah, well, there were two different days, wasn't there? The first day, the hair was awful. Second day was a bit better. Second day was definitely better, so yeah. I have to make up for it, and this is how you see it. Oh, it's, I heard it's on your rider that you have your own rack provided for you. It's on your requirements for the uh, Yeah, pretty the much. Shoot. Put that in my contract. No, half of this is Jimmy's, half of this is mine. Right, right, right. get that in. And then we've got, this is the actual stage shot out here. <laughs> where we'll be doing the business. We're just in rehearsals right now, but I do know the draws have been done for both the Xbox and PlayStation side. Uh, Mike's been sending me the info over. It looks like Boras on the PlayStation side has got a particularly hard group. Some people are calling it the group of death, I think they're probably right. Uh, and Harry's group's not easy either. I think the Xbox groups are slightly better dispersed in terms of the high quality players in different groups. PlayStation seems very top heavy towards Boras's group, which is a bit unlucky, but it means if he gets out of the group, He's in an unbelievable position with some of the biggest uh, competition already eliminated. So he's hoping tomorrow is a big day for both Harry and Boras. Hashtag Harry's in the house. Oh, they got this thing. Giving him chat. <laughs> Giving him chat. He's getting in the heads. So I like get in the heads, mate. Got Boras over here. He's ready for action. Group of death. Aggie Rosemeyer. It's gonna be interesting. Right, Harry's getting his team set up. You ready for this, Harry? I'm ready. You in the right frame of mind? I think so. Have you seen that our video from Everton went up today? Did yeah. it? Yeah, we recreated the goals. Everyone's mugging you off for your scoop turns, mate. Luka Modric, bang! I just recreated that scoop turn. Well, I've actually got the footage alongside it. It wasn't quite the same as Modric's. The shot was, the shot was good. Turn was... Eh. You was rushing me. It was windy, it was windy, wasn't it? It's, it's because Spencer did, Spencer did it, but he scored his goals. So I was like, oh, we've got to go now. <laughs> it's not entirely true, but <laughs> how's your team looking? It's, all right. it's, all right. it's not bad, is it? I've never actually used him, but I just don't think. Like, look at his stats. I mean, you know. They're not bad, are they? For a right back. Secret weapon, though, is this guy, isn't it? Divine. It's all about Divine. He is Divine, mate. Look at that. And, and him and Norris playing up. It's 25 speed. Richardson is the rich man's noyer, they say. How old is he? Bad. <laughs> He's born in the 60s. <laughs> Bloody hell. Here, Ivan. You ready, mate? Yeah. So I have uh, 
one surprise that wasn't a good surprise. I didn't have the player of the year cut here. Ah, yes. So I have to go with the uh, man of the match one. And I think he should work fine. I mean, he is uh, very good in this game. But of course, I mean, the pace is a bit different. He has a 92 on the player of the year. This is 83. Yeah, a lot of people were expecting the uh, SBC Kante, weren't they? Yeah, because this is our build from uh, three weeks ago. So we'll see. I mean, uh, so you're going to play these guys like this or you're going to swap them? Yeah, swap them. So in game, it's going to be the diamond. We have uh, Luis and Ramos as the center backs, and then Pogba as an anchor, CDM, Kante to the right, and the to the left. Right. A diamond tomorrow. Just got back to the hotel. I want to watch the West Ham Tottenham game, which I'm missing going to. Um, it starts in half an hour, but I've just noticed Real Oviedo, my other team, you know, you guys know about, are actually on TV right now against Alcorn. They're trying to get into the playoffs. There's an opportunity if they get a win. Oh my gosh! Dinner has arrived. I've got my club sandwich. And now the main event has started. West Ham versus Tottenham. It's obviously Spurs are massive favourites here, but if we can get the result. A draw could be enough to save us from relegation, guaranteed. But more importantly, it might stop Spurs winning the league because they're still in competition with Chelsea. They're not favourites, obviously, but they've got a chance. We can mathematically make it very hard for them. We need the points, mate. Let's get the points, please. What do you think, Chu? I'm saying 2-1 Spurs. I have, to, I have to say that because they're just 2-0-P right now. West Ham, sluggish, poor. We've been keeping clean sheets, though. We have True. been keeping clean sheets. True, but I think... Young Son and Kane, two late goals. Deli Alley as well, isn't there? Yeah, it could be painful. I'll take a draw right now. Hashtag Mike's in the building. What's up? This is too close. Hold on, I gotta, uh, uh, gotta uh, back uh, up. Yeah. Get his collar right. You wanna get all the chins in. Um, what, what are you thinking for tomorrow? We've seen the draw. You're gonna be helping the boys tomorrow. Oh, you're putting pressure on me now. Okay. Well, I'm not, I'm not saying it's down to you, but I'm saying you know what they're up against. What do you think of the draws, first of all, in the groups? I, I like Harry's draw a lot more than Yvonne's draw, just being honest. Uh, however, I've been to, I think, three events where Yvonne and August have been at that event. Yeah. And all three of them, they matched up. Yeah. All three. Yeah. So I don't know how many times they've played in group stage, I don't know how many times they've played in events, but it has to be three plus. Because yeah. I've been there for three of them, and this will be number, I think, number four. It'd be interesting to know who's won most of those. Yvonne. Really? Sorry, August. Yeah. Yeah. And then Harry's group is decent. We need, we need him to come top four, and that's all we need. He's just top four on the, pla on the PlayStation and Xbox. And, it's doable. And Harry's coming with like kind of a risky formation. Have we talked to you about this? He's got like a backup formation that he kind of wants to put in the front. Three at the front. back, yeah. Three at the back, which I've never seen at a competitive tournament this year. I don't think he should do it personally, but maybe if it's not working, he can switch to it. I'm hoping that's the route that he goes with, yeah, yeah. Uh, as opposed to starting. I think that he feels like if he gets matched up with somebody that has been performing so well, like a huge gorilla or something. Yeah. I feel like he really values how well he's been playing. Even though last event didn't go ideal for him, yeah. that maybe he just wants to change the pace a little bit. It's good to have a plan B. It's important to have a plan B. So it's good to know how he's got one, but yeah. Most people, if you look, are looking around the screen today, everyone gets set out. Almost everyone's got eight of the same 11 players in their team. Same, usually always, it's like always a 4-3-2-1. And I heard no Conte, is that a fact? Well, yeah, so the Conte, uh, the squad builder Conte is not available, so the cut-off date for these, they get all the players in the game, but they only get them up to a certain date, and that date was before that player came out. So it's uh, Fuck Birthday David Luiz, and squad builder David Luiz, and Torres, and those guys, they're available. Kante's not. But you can still get an 86 in for Kante. If you're on the PlayStation, no legends. If you're going off stats, yeah. the, the newest Kante looks good. Of course. If we get Harry and Ivan, both in Berlin, as well as Tass, we're going to have to celebrate tomorrow night. That would be perfect. Big. If one of them gets in, we'll Spence, still celebrate. Spence rarely drinks. He might drink that night. I might drink. We, we've, been, we've had a night in Madrid before, me and you. We have had a night in Madrid. Our first time in Madrid is FIWC. It was a while back. It was the night. You that, might not have recognized Spencer in that video. Oh, it looks very different to what I do now. But it was the night that we probably became the best double team co op FIFA partnership in the world. I would still issue that to anyone. If anybody wants to challenge us two on two, we beat a couple of world champions, didn't we? Yeah. We beat multiple pro players. I really believe we've got some sort of. You know who we should play? It's Harry and Tess. I'm down to take that off. Harry and Tess doing the co op thing. Especially if we could do it in person. Because I just feel like this That's is where we in come person, through. back and forth. Yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll make that happen. We'll make that happen. All right. But right, for now, I'm going to watch the West of West Ham game. And then tomorrow, we'll get up early doors and see the boys. Hopefully, clinch uh, qualification for Berlin. Let's go. Look what just happened. Wait for it. Oh. 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 
Oh my god. Come on. One nil up. Lanzina, you beauty. Look at this. You don't you don't mess about. Do not mess about. It's gone oh, he's done well there to be fair. Yeah, Dyer switched off there, man. West Ham have got the win. We've just beaten Spurs 1-0. We've pretty much ended any chance they had of winning the league, which is nice, but really it was about us staying in the league, which we've done, which I'm buzzing about. So I'll go to bed now with a nice smile on my face. And I need a smile on my face because we're getting up at 5am. Come on, Stan. Yes, guys, it is the morning of the big day. It's about half five in the morning. As you can see, I've just finished sorting my hair out. So I'm ready for, uh, I'm ready for going on a broadcast. And look at this cheeky little mirror situation. Hello, all right, mate. How you doing? Should we get going? Let's go. This guy never stops balling. Ball Bloody back. five a.m. in the morning. Look at him. Bags of energy. Well, well, let's go. The guy's a machine. Oh, almost. That would have been good. Let's do this. Big day. Bienvenidos. Oh, hello. It's a bit of me. It is a bit of me. Got our list of players here. PS4 side. We're looking at Rose and Meyer. We're looking obviously at hashtag Boras Ivan. Bass is very good. All these guys are quality at the end of the day. On the Xbox side, we've got Harry. We've got Dragon. We've got Gorilla now with Unilad, of course. Dr. Hano Pricey. Dax. Some quality players, mate. He's ready for a fight. Hashtag Harry. Wants that. <laughs> then we've got over the other side of the arena on the PlayStation side. Here he is, cool customer. Hashtag Boras, ready for action. How you feeling? Feeling decent. I mean, that's what I like to hear. Apologies for the lack of updates, guys. It's been going crazy here, but the group stage for the first part of the day is done. Harry and Boris have finished their games. Ooh. Boris actually only got two points and is out of the group of death. He was unlucky, but it's a really tough group. Harry has actually gone out as well, we think, on, on goal difference. Everyone in his group finished on four points. He was leading the group going into the final game. And he's lost that last game, and I think they're both out. It's a real shame. Right, I'm here with hashtag Harry. Harry, you have been knocked out. Surprising, because you won your first game. I thought you were going to smash it. What happened? Well, just a, just a free group in. Most of the blame is on myself, of all the blames on myself, because the times in the game, especially that last one when I'm not being funny, I could have been like four up, three up, and I was just I was just bottling chances. The second one though, a draw was definitely the fair result. If not, I just probably deserved to lose. So it evens out a bit. There's going to be some tournaments where I'm going to get grouped again. There's going to be some that I am going to win a million percent, and the future's just bright. And also, our group was that freakish that I come bottom, I think technically with. 4.0 goal difference. Top also had 4.0 goal difference, and I beat him. Yeah, it's mental. So and you beat him two times in a row. And also, like it's, it's the first year. There's huge things to come. Exactly. There's Don't huge pick too things early, to come mate. From this company, I know exactly. Just End get him out of the way now. Just get him out of the way. We've got FIWC still this year, so still good and potential. We've got, um, like formats are going to be changing in the, in the future. Not that it matters too much, but ev everything's always going to improve. So yeah. you, you've got to always look at yourself first and foremost. Exactly. This is just the learning. This is chapter one, chapter let's, two, chapter three. Let's not forget. Me. I've. It might have been a year. Was it a year today on the special city game time? It, 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 it might be. It was a year today. It mate. was a year tomorrow. But um, happy anyway, anniversary. Pal. That means I've been a professional FIFA player for under a year, under one year. Some of these have been playing FIFA for seven years. Exactly. I've got six years on them. Plenty of time, mate. Imagine me in six years. I don't think anyone's ever going to score past me. Can you just finish with a hash tab? <laughs> You've done it on stream now, anyway. There we go. Good and work. I made that not feel big. Ooh, big talk. Harry's in good spirits already. You can see he's got over his loss. No skills, though. No skills to pay the bills. No tournament winnings to pay the bills, either. Shame. At least choose vlogging him as well. It's embarrassing. So guys, while I'm getting my makeup done, I'm going to tell you the eight people that are through uh, to Berlin, guaranteed. I can't remember more off my heart, but Gorilla's done it from the UK. Am I good? Gorilla's done it from the UK. Um, done us proud there. Well done, Gorilla. A couple of Dutch guys, uh, King EP and Quintin from Final, have done really well. They're both in there. Um, Principe, representing Italy. I think it means Prince. He's doing really well. He's smashing it for Italy. I'm very impressed by him. Uh, Dax from PSG is in Berlin. Manica also uh, he's a German. He's in Berlin. Uh, Enrasic is in Berlin.
Berlin and Stranger is in Berlin. They're the eight guys that have got the spots. We've still got a lot more games to see who wins the $20,000 on each console and the $10,000 uh, overall prize as well. My money, I'm saying it's either going to be Gorilla, Dax or Principe. That's what I'm saying. Thank you. Gorilla still going strong. Do you think he can do it? He's gonna come back like Optic Gaming, baby. Ooh. That's how they do it. Lower bracket run. It's gonna be unique, lad, Gorilla. <laughs> lad. Well, guys, we have our two winners on the two consoles. Gorilla has come back from the lower bracket to win the Xbox side. A lot of people saw that coming. We know how good Gorilla is. And on the PlayStation side, this Italian guy called Principe who really has impressed me today. I've not really been that knowledgeable about the Italian FIFA scene before this, to be honest. I don't really know of that many players. But this guy is representing them amazingly. He has won the PlayStation side, won $20,000. He's going to be playing Gorilla for the extra $10,000 in the big final that goes out on ESPN, goes out on BT Sport, you get all the crowd around it. You've seen hopefully these vlogs before, you know how it works. So, looking forward to that one. Obviously, I'll say Gorilla's the favorite because Xbox have won every single one of these so far, but if anyone's gonna win from the PlayStation side, I'd say this Principe guy has got it in him to do it. The grand finals are kicking off in less than five minutes. Unilad Gorilla takes on Principe of Italy, who will win. Guys, it's half time in the first leg of the final and Gorilla is 2-0 down on the Xbox, which is his favorite console. So this Principe guy from Italy, right now is the real deal. Right, we're going into the second leg of the final now. Gorilla did manage to pull it back to two all. Principe's got those away goals. Gorilla's not got his legends now because they're playing on the PlayStation. He says he hates the PlayStation. But right now it's two all. Principe has the away goals. The crowd are loving it. I think we might see an Italian winner here, but we know Gorilla's capable of pulling it back. outcome that could take us to extra time in the final. Never happened before. Massive. Oh! Massive goal for him. 5-3 now to Principe. Looking good. Nangolan. It's always a Belgian. That is quality. That is quality. Principe is the Relio Delio. Principe, man, he proved me wrong. I mean, this guy was quality. He was. He never lost a single match. No. Right? I mean, Italy. He's putting them on the map, esports-wise, a fun champions. GG. Fair play. Fair play. Okay, the FIFA's over. Um, this man behind me here was unlucky not to win the grand final, but yeah, I know, I know. he's the real winner because he gets to play football with me. Isn't that right? <laughs> well, we'll um, see if, you, if you're as good as you are in a football as me, FIFA. Right? Exactly, exactly. Ooh. And we'll see if you're as good in real life as you are virtually, because you've got the virtual game down to a team, mate. But maybe, have, what maybe, are you like? Maybe not the skills, but we'll see. Maybe the passing. I'm sure you can scoop turn better than Harry, anyway. <laughs> uh, maybe, we'll see. We've got a load of guys going from the event today. We, we, we tweeted it out as well. You know, me and Jimmy like to try and do a pickup game when we... Uh, when we do these events. So we left it quite late to book it today. I'm hoping, bloody hell that sun is bright. I'm hoping that um, we get a little bit of a turnout, but we've got a seven aside pitch book, play some football, nice way to spend some time in Spain. Let's go. This is where we're playing. It's a brand new pitch. Apparently Nike just filmed something here with Ronaldo. It's not bad. It's not bad at all. Well guys, that was a lot of fun. As you can see from my face, and I've actually got pellets on my face, but I'm seriously sweating. Proper little workout. The sun was out for most of the game. It's just gone in. Broke my Alice band. Headed the ball with my Alice band on, big mistake, split in half, but it was worth it. Um, that was epic actually. We had about 10 aside on a 7 aside pitch, a little bit busy, but I enjoyed it. 
some decent performances from the likes of Hashtag Harry, Hashtag Mike, Chew Boy, Jimmy Conrad, Brent Coning, aka the Commissioner of FIFA Esports. Decent, a load of the Esports boys came out actually, some decent players out there. Real life players as well as virtual players. Even Gorilla played. Tell you what, I've never played football with someone, I'm calling Gorilla, it was a little bit weird. Pass the ball Gorilla. But he was decent. Whew, knackered now. Right guys, it is the morning after the uh, Fuck Champs event. I'm about to go back to London. My flight leaves, well my shuttle to the airport leaves in about half an hour. While I'm here, the Academy episode's just gone up, the, um, the, the interviews episode. I'm reading some of the comments, as usual, very controversial. I think I'm gonna do an Instagram story to address some of it because um, it's a tricky one, it's very subjective opinions, a lot of them involved and people have strong opinions on this. But I just want to take an opportunity to remind people where our mindset is, why we're doing what we're doing, what we're trying to do in the future. I think people just need a bit of perspective on the series. In Madrid airport, about to go back to England, let's go home.